Hi kids! Welcome to our grade 6 mathematics class for quarter 3, module 3. Our topic for today is translating verbal expressions and equations to mathematical expressions and equations. Okay, before we start, let's read this problem. Aling Leoning bought 5 packs of dinapa and paid 500 pesos to the vendor. If her change was 150 pesos, how much does each pack cost? Again, Aling Leoning bought 5 packs of dinapa and paid 500 pesos to the vendor. If her change was 150 pesos, how much does each pack cost? Okay, now, these are what we know from the problem. 500 pesos or the amount paid, 5 packs of tinapa, and 150 pesos change. What we do not know from the problem is the cost of each pack. Okay, so, we know that we have to subtract the total cost of tinapa from 500 pesos to get 150 pesos, right? Now, if N is the cost of each pack bought, then we get 500 pesos minus 5N is equal to 150 pesos. To get that okay remember 500 pesos minus 5n is called an algebraic expression while 500 pesos minus 5n is equal to 150 pesos is called an algebraic equation now take note that an algebraic expression is a mathematical phrase, while an algebraic equation is a mathematical sentence. Did you get that? Okay, now, in 500 pesos minus 5n is equal to 150 pesos, 500 pesos, and 150 pesos are what we call constant. When we say constant, these are terms with fixed value or the value does not change. While this n here is what we call the variable. And when we say variable, it is any letter or symbol that represents a number. Now, this 5 here is what we call the coefficient. When we say coefficient, it is a number factor of a variable term. Did you get that? Okay, again, in an equation, we have constant, variable, and coefficient. So, again, constant are terms with fixed value, variable, any letter or symbol that represents a number and coefficient is the number factor of a variable term. Okay? Okay, let's discuss mathematical symbols and keywords or phrases. So when you see this symbol, you'll usually see the keywords or phrases such as addition plus the sum of more than added to increased by or the total of okay when you see this mathematical symbol you'll usually see keywords or phrases such as subtraction diminished by minus 
the difference of less than decreased by subtracted from or less while when you see these mathematical symbols you'll usually see keywords or phrases such as multiplication times of twice thrice etc and product of now these symbols or these fraction bars you'll usually see keywords or phrases such as division the quotient of ratio of or divided by and this symbol you'll usually see keywords or phrases such as is is equal to or equals okay let's change word phrases to algebraic expressions m plus 2 2 added to m the sum of m and 2 changed to algebraic expression you'll get m plus 2 did you get that okay let's try another n minus 6 6 subtracted from n n decreased by 6 you'll see algebraic expression this way n minus 6 okay okay let's try another thrice of p p multiplied by 3 or the product of 3 and p you'll get 3 times p or simply 3p okay how about r divided by 4 the ratio of r to 4 or 1 fourth of r you'll get r divided by 4 or r over 4 did you get that okay okay let's try this could you change this word phrase into algebraic expression 5 times a number divided by 2 5 times a number divided by 2 okay what did you get okay this 5 times a number is 5n and then divided by 2 the division sign and then 2 so we get 5n divided by 2 okay let's try another how about 12 more than twice a number 12 more than twice a number okay are you done okay let's check your work 12 more than we write plus 12 and then twice a number is simply 2n so we write 2n plus 12 as our algebraic expression did you get that okay let's try changing word sentences to algebraic equations let's have 
The sum of a number and nine is twenty-four. The sum of a number and nine is twenty-four. Okay, could you try that? Are you done? Okay, let's check. The sum of a number and nine, you simply write n plus nine. And then is, okay, very good. You simply write an equal sign, and then 24, being a constant, you simply write 24. Okay? So answer is n plus 9 equals 24. Very good. Okay, what is n again? Is it a constant or a variable? Okay, very good. n is a variable. How about 9 and 24? Okay, very good. 9 and 24 are both constant. Okay, let's try another. How about 26 subtracted from twice a number is 18. Again, 26 subtracted from twice a number is 18. Okay, are you done? Okay, let's check. Okay, 26 subtracted from. How do we write that? Okay, very good. We simply write minus 26. How about twice a number? How do we write twice a number? Okay, very good. We simply write 2n. Again, n could be any other letter. And then is... Okay, very good. It's simply an equal sign. And 18 being a constant, we simply write 18. Okay, now, how do we write this as an algebraic equation? Okay, very good. We write 2n minus 26 equals 18. Good job. Can you give me the constant terms in this equation? Okay, very good. 6 and 18, which is our variable. Okay, very good. Our variable is n. And how do we call 2 that goes with our variable n? Okay, good job. 2 is called a coefficient. Very good. Okay, you did an awesome work today, kids. Time to answer your modules. Thank you for listening. Until next time, goodbye!